Okay, so illustrations and using illustrations themselves as your actual artwork um, in case A, it's great for a beginner, uh, but also if you're more advanced, um, you still use them for reasons, which I'll show you with this one. Oops, sorry for knocking you. This one is a flip of a journal that I've already shown you. This particular page here, on this day, I'm a headache and migraine sufferer, and I had a massive headache this day. And my head was banging, so all I did, my head's a banging on here, was find a piece of ephemera that reflected what I wanted to say, because I physically could not focus my eyes enough to draw anything, and besides that, I just didn't have the will to do it. My head was just pounding. I just wanted to take my mind off of it. So all I did for this one is whipped out the pro markers and just coloured it in. It's saying the point that I want to say. There's Alice in Wonderland with all the drums around her wishing they would shut the f up. So that was how I was feeling that day. Um, here in my big journal, um, I didn't want to... I wanted to include this um, playing card from 1950s, but I didn't want to alter it anyhow. I wanted this image... So I just duplicated it for drawing practice, basically. So I've got the image, I've got the illustration that I actually want, and I've used it in a different way. And in my current journal, there is background here. Um, this wasn't intentional when I included this page. Mm -hmm. This page here, look at the ephemera. This is a 1960s annual. Um, I wasn't intending for it to to be this, but now I look at it, that is too good an illustration to pass up. <laughs> I will do something with that and keep that as you see it. So that's number whatever it is, illustrations. Okay, personal ephemera. Um, ephemera that can be used in any kind of journal. It doesn't necessarily need to be an art journal. Um, this is an art journal of mine. It's pretty much a writing journal. Um, and it's got some pictures in it, as you can see. Um, but it's so it's kind of a scrappy journal, um, but it's mainly a written, a written journal. Um, and in here there are some what is essentially rubbish. These things are rubbish. This is what you get your pictures back from. This is an invitation uh, to a party, children's party. Um, and this is, again, another leaflet where you would have your pictures in here. So I was at my grandmother's one day, and I was rifling through a load of her pictures and bin liners and bin liners of stuff. And the, I came across these, which essentially should be in the bin. They're either going to be thrown away, or I was going to take them and stick them in my journal for this moment. Um, they are rubbish, but they are a part of my family's history. My grandmother would have had to have walked down to the local town to go and pick this up. It's got their the family name on it. It's got a date on it. Um, she would have had to have walked down, probably with a kid in tow, one of her three children in tow, to go and pick these up. Um, these party invitations would have been used for one, either my aunties or my mother's, one of their parties. You know, that's a part of their history. And again, the same with this one. I just think they're cute anyway. I mean, yeah, they are rubbish, but they're cute. Again, this is Bolter. Charge. It's got the it's got the amount on it. I mean, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> this I I don't understand old currency. This currency is long gone. So, although it's rubbish, that is part of my family's history. And in and because it's a written journal, when somebody inherits these journals, they will understand that it's part of their family history too. Okay, while I was going through these pictures, there was also, sorry, these bags, there was also these pictures. That's my grandmother. So I've written on the back. Oh, no, I haven't on that one. That's cool. That's my grandmother. They, these are, that's my great-grandmother, my grandma, my auntie, and all of their children. I found a drawing that my mother did of her dog. And although these are not the actual pieces of ephemera at the top, the actual ephemera themselves, these are copies, the originals are far too precious. They're still, I know I will never get around to making a scrapbook of these pictures, and they're too precious not to include 
some way of passing them down and knowing who they are. So this is my great great grandmother, Edwardian lady. And that is my granddad in his uniform. And there's some more on the other side. So although the pictures are not it's me, me and the dog that my mother drew. So although they're just pictures or copies of pictures, they're not the actual infirmary themselves. If I hadn't have done this and put these into these journals, these pictures may have never, I may never have them and my children may never have them. Um, so go through your family history and have a look um, or your friend's history and find something that's personal to you and include it in your journals because it will give you such a connection um, to your journaling. Okay, so say you are not interested in art in your journals or you want to mix up your creativity in your journaling. Um, what you can do is use ephemera writing prompts. Um, here's, a, here's a mini miniature writing journal that's currently in my shop. Um, and I don't think you can find anything better than ephemera for a writing prompt, particularly if you're new and you feel like you don't have the imagination to start from scratch. Um, so here's here's a cigarette card, and the prompt is so simple. It's what is the history behind the subject in the cigarette card? So here's a footballer, and here's all the history already. It gives you the information. Ah, it's just like you're plucking out the fibres um, of what you want. So this old map was used when? So who did it belong to? Where were they going? Where were they from? I mean, you've got place names. So pick out a route. And, and decide who would want to be there and why. And, I mean, it, I just find it so fascinating because these items, this London Underground receipt was from. Who used it? Where were they going? Why? And then these stamps were posted on. So you've got the dates here. This is 86. This one's 1984. What happened in those years? Could somebody famous have received this mail? What would have been inside it? Some scandal. You know, it's just, it's insane that you can take something that already has a history to it because all you're doing is trying to draw out the history. And so many novels and movies were created this way. I mean, king, movies of kings and queens, you know, Elizabeth or whatever, are so outrageously wrong. Um, but it's because people are interested in the, you know, the personal relationships between themselves and between other people, how they treat other people. And, and, you know, it's all of that kind of stuff that means it would be elaborated on. And novels, something like Girl with a Pearl Earring or Da Vinci Code, they are drawn from something that is already historical and, and drawing their own their own stories from it, their own imagination. So, using ephemera in your, in your writing. Okay, so theme journals, my favourite. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, it's, it's picking up on what I said at the beginning about having an interest in in ephemera and whether you think you have an interest in history or not. Pick your favourite topic. If you have something that you love and you start collecting ephemera on that, there's stuff that you can make with it. You'll have such a connection with and you'll be so interested in, you'll want to use. Um, and also it's a great way for making presents for other people if you start collecting what they are interested in. Okay, so I'll show you some journals. This one is one of my favourites that I have in my shop at the moment. It's a Jane Austen prompt journal. So it has items, ephemera from her times, the lady herself, her different cities, her different houses, her different works, um, all kinds of things in it. Look, here's some lace. All kinds of things in it, along with writing prompts um, for somebody to explore Georgian times themselves and explore you know, they could have Jane Austen as a character herself and all this kind of thing. Do what you want with it. I love it. And then there's a Shakespearean journal here. Inside is a load of modern and vintage ephemera. This came from Shakespeare's birthplace, actually. This is a postcard from his gift shop. Yes, there are gift shops. I know. <laughs> and this is a button badge as well from his birth house. And inside is just, you know, this one of his plays, a vintage play, postcard of him. You know, there's just so much in here that is about programmes from different plays and here look. Programme Richard the Third. 
and all, all kinds of stuff in here that um, a Shakespearean fan would love, whether they make it into an art journal or a writing journal or if they use it for their drama studies, whatever it is they want to use it for. Um, and places, here's one for Europe, it has in here a load of ephemera from different countries in Europe. Okay, if you are hugely environmentally conscious, um, which I am beginning to get more and more annoyed at the amount of waste that every household produces, um, and so I'm trying to make things out of everything that gets thrown away, I hate it, I hate all of the waste. Um, but what you can do with ephemera is you can salvage something that, because it was never intended to be valuable, because it was never intended to be collected, it has gone awry and it's not been looked after. So here is a journal that I made out of a book that when I bought it, it was in two pieces. This is a 1940 edition of Daphne du Maurier's Rebecca, and I mean that pretty much around the time when it's published. So she, she's an old lady now. But she'd been treated as badly as what the heroine is treated in it. I mean, just look at the state of it. Now I've salvaged it as much as I can. It's still going to show its wear age. It's still going to show its wear. Um, but it's no longer in two halves. It's one solid piece of a journal. And inside I've included pages from the original manuscript. So the way to use ephemera is to salvage and to use something that if you see it on a car boot store or if you see it at a flea market and it's only a small amount of money but you can see that if you don't buy it um, it's going to be left to rot pick it up do something with it you're guaranteed you can make something out of it 